Today, I'm gonna show you what happens when a rocker shaft bolt breaks, and I'm also gonna show you the damage it can cause on a C15 CAT A-cert. Let's get right into this. I came from the mud, there's dirt on my hands, strong like a tree, there's roots where I stand, oh I've been running from the law, hope they won't shoot me down soon. Catch me howling at the moon. Hey guys, this is Adam with TAT Express, and on this channel we go over everything about semis, whether it's repair, maintenance, or troubleshooting. Make sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you know next time we release another video. If you have any questions or concerns about your engine, make sure to leave a comment below. Okay, so today we're gonna go over a rocker shaft bolt that failed on a C15 Acer Cat. And I'm also gonna show you the damage that it caused after, the, after it broke. This is the rocker shaft bolt that holds the rocker shaft in place. Caterpillar has a durable design. They use larger components and a mechanical style turbo. All in all, Caterpillars are solid engines. For example, check out this DD15 head bolt compared to the Caterpillar head bolt. Not to down the DD15, the DD15 is a well advanced designed engine. I just want to show you for comparison. I also have an ISX cam next to a Caterpillar cam. Now this particular C15 Acert is designed with what is called IVAs or valve actuator assemblies. Now what these assemblies are designed to do is cut down on emissions by adjusting the intake and exhaust valves during operation. The reason why I bring this up is due to the rocker shaft bolt design. This bolt is designed to not only clamp down the rocker shaft, but also supply a bolt support for the valve actuator assembly. This is the rocker shaft with the rocker arms. This is the, rocker, this is the valve actuator assembly. So what this valve actuator assembly does, it sits on top of the rocker shaft assembly, just like so. So as you can see, these are some major parts. Now that is a lot of stress for this particular bolt due to the length and design of this bolt. So what ended up happening is the bolt broke, the rocker shaft bolt broke. And what, and what happened after that is the rocker shaft and the rockers, valve actuators, became loose. Now with all that excessive play, eventually the valve bridge worked its way loose. This particular valve bridge is called a floating valve bridge design, which means it only sits on top of the valves just like that. There's not an additional guide in the middle to keep it in place. So with all that excessive play, this valve bridge eventually worked its way out of place and up, and up under the cam. The cam is a large component, okay? It's housed by the cam journals of the head. The head is made out of cast iron and the cam is made out of billet steel. So when this valve bridge made, up, made it up under the cam, it created a large fracture on the cam journal. So this is this piece of the cam journal that fractured. Major, major failure there. Okay, so what we're gonna do, since that cam journal, since this cam journal is made onto the head, this is non-repairable. We're having to replace the head. So we have a head ready, prepared for installed. We're gonna replace all the hardware to ensure that this truck does have, not have any problems again. Once these repairs are done, this truck will be ready to go back on the road and back to work. If you're concerned about your, this happening to your C15, make sure to, that all your studs and bolts are tightened down to specs. If you got any questions or concerns about your engine, make sure to leave us a comment below and we'll be happy to help. Okay guys, so thanks for watching. I hope you guys learned something. 
Uh, make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed to us and turn on that notification bell so you know next time we release another video. Make sure to check out our other videos and until next time, be safe.